How's it going, Polygon Division team? Today, I'm going to be discussing a couple tips that will give you 75% faster redshift renders. It's a huge number. It sounds crazy, but it can be done. This is all has to do with render time optimization and is something that you should definitely, definitely consider in your workflow. In this example, I've got a render time of one minute and you can see in the timeline, we've got 240 frames. That equates to four hours on this render time. I want to cut it down to 48 minutes and I'll show you with a couple tips and tricks to get that time down to 48 minutes. We're going to discuss sampling thresholds, the denoiser, global illumination changes, one little trick they can get your render times cut in half. Can you believe it? Make sure you check the video description for associated project files. Also, the community tab has plenty of free resources like substance materials, espresso rigs, and After Effects presets. I'll be building up plenty of content for the community to enjoy. I'll be doing a free mega bundle giveaway for the first 500 Rockstar subscribers to my channel. So make sure you smash the subscribe button to stay up to date and like the video to show your support. It's greatly appreciated. Let's dive in. Okay, so here is our default render. You can see the render time took one minute and 23 seconds. And to do this, you can see we're in the basic mode. Nothing has been changed. You can see we're here at the bucket quality set to medium. And let's go ahead and throw this in advanced mode. And all I'm going to do, everything is default. I'm going to go to the global illumination and change this from point cloud to brute force. Now, if we go to our render, the result for making that change was one minute, one second. So you can see we shaved off 22 seconds off that render. So already a huge jump. And you can see between the two, there's no change that's been made except for right around here. It looks a little bit brighter. So with shaving off 21 seconds, 22 seconds, we've changed this very minimally. So I'm going to go back to render settings and change the next one, which is going to be under sampling. I want to bring this from 0 0.01 to 0 0.2. And you might be saying, oh my God, that's going to be so grainy. Well, yes, the render time will be substantially better, but it will be grainier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the denoiser and then bucket this out. And here's the render. So you can see we shaved it down to 20 seconds, almost 21 seconds. So we've already cut it down to a fourth just by doing that. So the next setting that we're going to address is under system. This is a hidden trick. You can see we have this bucket rendering. It might be closed. You want to open that up and the default is set to 28 pixels. So what this does is it does 28 pixels squared box and renders in a spiral just by changing these values to either 512 or 256, we're going to shave off some substantial time. So I'm going to click 256, go to my render view here, and you can see we brought it down from 21 seconds to 17 seconds just by changing that bucket. I'm going to go back, change it to 512, render it out, and you can see we brought it down to 15 seconds. So the difference between 20 seconds and 15, we're shaving off another quarter of our time just by changing that. Now, talking about 512. If you set your bucket size to 512, what I suggest you do before you render is you restart your machine and clear your memory in your graphics card. To do that, you want to do a restart, not shut down and then turn on. You want to restart. That will clean off the memory on the graphics cards if you have two. If you have one graphics card, you want to make sure that you, to do 512, that you have at least 11 gigabytes of video RAM. So in short, you can see we shaved our time from one minute, 23 seconds down to 15 seconds. That difference is from a four hour render to a 40 minute render. The times are substantial by spending a few minutes and focusing in on getting your render times down in the long run, you will save substantial time. The last thing I wanted to show you is the bucket quality when we have it set to 4K footage. So in this example, I've increased it to 4K and you can see that the render time was four minutes and 40 eight seconds, so almost five minutes, massive render time. What I did is I changed the bucket to 512. So I went in here to the render settings system, set it to 512, and then the render time got cut down to two minutes and 26 seconds, exactly half. So just by changing the bucket size can reduce your render times by 50%. It's amazing. I want to mention too, the way I was doing these screenshots to compare is you click this little button here. And then when you add a shot, once it's done rendering, you click the plus icon. And when you're doing this, you want to give these names so you can see which one's which. So if I was to screenshot a new one, I would just click the plus and then name it. And it works from
from left to right. So when you make a new screenshot, it will be to the furthest left and then push these down. That's it for render optimization. Consider doing this on every render that you do that has multiple frames. That's it. We hope you found it useful. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.